guys! Today I'm going to be doing a video that I've been waiting to do for a while. I'm quite excited to do this because I've known about these things forever and I have just now been able to find them in stores. They've just recently... I mean... Opie. Rude. Who raised you? Alright. Anyway. Opie. They are... Soft and slow DIY squishies that come with paint markers to decorate. Paint markers, and I'm just like, wow, this is awesome. I've never seen a DIY squishy product in stores before. I am an avid squishy decorator, and so I'm always looking for new ways to decorate squishies. First of all, most of the shapes are desserts, and then they do have these little animals also, which are so cute. I'm so excited about the animals, but mostly desserts. They do have quite a variety of different desserts. They were on sale at Michael's for $5 a piece. Um, I, I say sale because everything is always on sale at Michael's and it's like, is anything really on sale? And then they were $5 at AC Moore and I've also seen them at Five Below for $5, so they're $5. The markers are also $5 for a pack, at least they were at AC Moore. These are all the marker color options that they offer at this moment. This pack, I kind of understand, it's like all the bright colors, okay, whatever. But then this pack, they really should have done like neutral colors, um, but instead they put two metallic colors in there, which like, it's nice to have metallic colors every once in a while, but like how often do you really need metallic colors? And then a red and blue, but there's already kind of a red and blue in here, so <sighs> they could have done instead a tan, a brown, an orange in here, and black. You don't really need these colors on food items, so I'm confused about this one. So it's gonna be kind of hard for me to decorate these. They're gonna be a little crazy looking, which I get these are probably geared toward kids and they tend to use brighter colors when they're for kids. Yeah, let me go ahead and open these now and see what we've got going on in here. Yeah, uh, it feels like a squishy. <laughs> I'm glad that they're not cracked or anything because as you can see by the bags these have been squished a lot because you know everyone is just going around oh, oh, squishing every squishy i'm gonna start with decorating one squishy for now so y'all can get out of here they have an orange color shown at in the example squishies but they don't even give you an orange in here mm. what colors am i gonna use want a metallic cream puff. That just isn't right. Okay, after sitting here for like an hour and thinking about it, I think I have an idea of what I can do with these. Oh, they're cute. Wait, shake up and down with cap on before use. Shake. Ugh. Whoa, that's bright. It's like a highlighter pink. Mm. Okay, you, my dear, are going to be a bright one. You know what? I'm just going to get started. So I moved the camera so you can see what I'm doing here. <laughs> Have that lovely serial number or whatever on the bottom. It's kind of ugly. I wish you could cover it up with a marker, but... So there we go, this is my, so here it is, this is what I did, um, you know, it's, it's completely dry, it's completely done, and it took me about 10 minutes from start to finish, which is kind of nice to be able to complete a squishy in that amount of time, because it's way faster than normal, but, mm, nah, I don't know. I don't love it, honestly. I think I will probably paint over this. There are things I like about it. Uh, I like that it still squishes the exact same, like it didn't trap any air inside or anything like that. It still has the same softness that it did before. I think that these are good for people who just want a casual craft to do because it's easy and it's fast and there's really no learning curve. It was fun to try it and I'm still excited that there are new squishy products coming
coming out. But as far as me using these again, I think the chances are very slim because I'm not really a fan of how this looks. It's really hard to get in details and once you put the color on there like you can't really go over it with paint if you make a mistake you can just go over it and fix it but with these they're not very forgiving there's so much more freedom when you can use paint because you can overlap things and as I'm sitting here I'm realizing that the color is kind of flaking off already and I can see places where the color is kind of falling off already just from sitting here and squishing it so not long lasting. I did see a video from the company that says you should coat them in Mod Podge before doing this and that helps the color stay. I didn't really know what that meant but I guess it means that they won't flake like this. But like, that kind of defeats the purpose. So I'm gonna take the time to paint the whole squishy, let it dry, I might as well just paint them with fabric paint because it's gonna look better. I would recommend the squishies. I would not recommend the markers unless you just wanna do it casually for fun. But if you want it to look really nice or you wanna get detailed with it or you want it to last longer than five minutes and use normal colors that are found on this planet, then I would not recommend the markers. So I am really glad that they sell them separately because I will definitely buy the squishies again and just paint them with fabric paint. I don't really know what to do with these now. Does anyone want these? You guys want to try them out? Uh, maybe I'll put them on my Etsy for like discounted and then if somebody wanted to try them out they could get them there. But yeah, this was a fun little experiment. I'm really glad that I got to do this because I've been looking forward to it for so long. Um, and if you liked this video, I have a very similar one coming up. Not next Monday, because I don't want to do them back to back, but the Monday after that. Yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys this Friday for another Create This Book episode. Bye.